welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be making some keychains um these this is the first time i'll be attempting to make these keychains so leave a comment let me know what you think of them i'm so excited to make these keychains really hope you enjoy this video so like and subscribe for more So I got these rectangle pendant trays from Amazon. Um, they are they can be used as pendant as well. So I'll show you another video of me using them as pendant. So you can use them to make ne necklaces or use them as keychains. They came in silver, gold, black, bronze, and a rust color, and some glass rectangle bezel to go inside of them. So these keychains will be some new listing on my Etsy shop, which is at Your Thing Official. So if you'd like to go check that out and let me know what you think. For this one, I've already put the vinyl in it. So this is the red, green and yellow vinyl. This is the rust color. I think it's the rust color. Yes, it's the rust color. Those are the split rings that you can use to put in them for the keychain. So I've already used the Cricut to make the names that I want to put on the keychains. Um, so right now I am just using the transfer tape to get it off, to get the name off the vinyl and to stick it on the keychain. I'm trying my hardest to apply it on straight and neatly. I'd recommend using alcohol and wipe off the keychain first before applying the vinyl on and I'll tell you why in a bit. I didn't have any alcohol so I used nail polish remover and it, and it worked just the same. <laughs> yep this is why the name it's not sticking on the keychain so i think this is because i didn't wipe the surface off before i put the vinyl on so next time you'll see me later on in the video wiping off each keychain before i apply the vinyl to it I was using every single thing I have to try and get it off on the keychain, but nothing works. So then I decided to use my tweezer to peel it off the transfer tape and try to stick it on the, on the tray. The tweezer didn't work so I had to use toothpick because I need something more pointy and there yep, it worked so there goes my first one it was a bit of a hassle but I got there in the end and mind you this is the first time I'm making these type of keychains so now I'm putting the resin to lock everything in make it more durable and of good quality I like to add resin to my keychain to make it have a better quality and not be too flimsy if you know what I'm saying and so now I'm spreading it across very neatly so you want to take your time in this with this process so nothing spills and then I'm putting it under my UV light I got these off Amazon as well on to the next keychain so now I'm wiping off the pendant trays before applying the vinyl on. I'm using nail polish remover at the moment, but I do recommend using alcohol because I don't have any alcohol. I'm using nail polish remover. And I'm cutting off the vinyl to stick it on the pendant tray. 
and I've made this one for myself to be a demo to put on my Etsy shop. And now this one is gliding right off because I use the nail polish remover aka alcohol I put it on the pendant tray before applying the vinyl so it slides right off so that's them under the UV light I put them at about I let them set for about 10 minutes it's all preference. So now I'm making my final keychain. I think I've saved the best for last because I really liked how this one turned out and you'll see in the end. I'll just let you watch how I make this one and I'll be right back. Enjoy! So hey guys I'm back hope you haven't fallen asleep so this is how it look after I've taken it out from under the UV light and now I'm adding resin inside so that the glass can fit inside and stay inside so you want to put as little resin inside the tray as possible because you don't want it to float over so I recommend putting little resin inside. Now I'm just wiping off the fingerprints and whatever might be on the glass and just going to just slip it inside. So you want to press it just a bit so that the bubbles, any bubbles that might be in there will pop so, or burst. You just want to press it just a bit and if if there isn't spill you just take alcohol and just wipe it off and then I'm going to just put it back under the UV light for about five to ten minutes So now I'm just showing you the vinyls that I will be putting inside the pendant trays and these are holographic vinyl. I think holographic vinyl looks so good inside these pendant trays and as I said before you can use these as pendants and as keychains. I'm going to use them as both and I will be listing them on my Etsy shop so go and check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So again I'm putting in the resin. I think that was a bit too much but we'll see. Yeah. And again you want to press it down just a bit to ensure that all the bubbles are been popped and yes it was spilled a bit so I had to use 
um, alcohol and wipe it off so this is the one that I said I really love I really love this holographic vinyl so now you can just sit back relax and watch me make this one don't forget to subscribe and like this video So now the keychains are all finished and that's the split ring that I will be putting on them and I really love how they turned out. I love this one, the Olivia one, the that, that um, holographic vinyl. I really love how they turned out and as for a first time making these keychains, I should say I'm proud of myself. I've got a video coming out on how I made that acrylic keychain. Um, so turn on your post notification so you can be notified whenever I drop that video. So now I will be assembling those keychain, putting on the split rings and the charms and everything like that to make it look more, you know, more appealing, give it more life, putting on the tassels and all that. So yeah, just watch me glam these keychain up and I'll be right back. Just look at that. I really love this one. The orange goes so well with that color holographic vinyl. Leave a comment on which one is your favorite one. And yeah, as I said before, you can go check out my Etsy shop. Just go show some love over there. Also, I've got a TikTok business page, Your Thing Official. And also you can follow my business IG page as well at your thing official. So this is the necklace I was talking about guys. So you can use them as necklace as well. So it's very versatile. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you've learned anything from this video um yeah just comment show some love and i'll see you on the next one bye